A new mutant lice that's resistant to treatments is spreading all over the country. They're calling it super lice. You see them in there? Ooh. Okay. And they're going to sell it for good today. We're going to be asking, should you worry about this mutant super lice, or is it just hype? Whoa, jeez. Oh, I'm sorry. You want to hold it for me? Nah, you're not too happy about it. All right, so I asked entomologist Jeffrey White to join us with the latest information. So where do these super lice come from, and why is it so hard to kill them? Well, they're the same lice we've had for decades, but what's happened is they've been exposed to so many over-the-counter products through the years, they've built up a resistance to many of the active ingredients we use. And it's not just an issue for kids. You argue that a lot of adults who unwittingly are walking around with lice. The longer they persist inside your house, and people take sometimes days or potentially weeks to find the problem, and then days or weeks to control it, it increases the chance they transfer to either you or I as an adult. They look so peaceful in there. Yeah, I don't know that I'd call them peaceful. All right, <laughs> stick around for a second. Let's get to the issue of how you're gonna treat yourself. We've got Maria Botham to show us how to track them down so you get rid of these little babies before they spread in your house. So, I mean, they are so small, how do you spot them? Um, well, you wanna take a fine tooth comb and you wanna divide the hair out. So you divide it systematically throughout the scalp. Ooh. Okay, once you start to see the eggs and bugs, I notice you you're push pushing down, down yeah. the eggs will pop up off the hair shaft. So you see them all there? Ooh. Once you know that your child definitively has lice, you're gonna wet the scalp down and you're gonna put some sort of conditioner on their head, and then you're gonna systematically comb through the head with a, with a lice comb like this. So then you're gonna wet the hair down, you're gonna comb out in all different directions, mm -hmm. front to back, back to front, side to side, until you find no more activity. Mm -hmm. Then you're gonna blow dry the hair and you're gonna go back to this comb and find the little, uh, the, the eggs and bugs that are left behind. Got it. Which there always are. There's always yep. about 10% of activity left. So once you do, you find an egg and you're gonna pull it all the way down the hair shaft. One by one. One with your by one, yeah. You have to love those kids. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> exactly. All right, so how do you make Hence. sure that you don't get them from your kids or that your kids don't get them from their friends? Um, you wanna pull their hair back mm -hmm. and you wanna kinda of refrain from any sort of hair to hair contact. They don't jump or fly, which is the good news. So the way people get head lice is through hair to hair contact. Hugging. I Hugging, knew we shouldn't hug. Sleepovers, yeah, all that good stuff. So. And, and this ancient remedy my wife loves, tea tree oil. Yeah, tea tree oil is great to use when you hear about a, um, a breakout. So you want to use it around the border of the scalp. And that kind of helps ward out the lice. So we've settled it here for good. Don't panic. <laughs> Because while it's everywhere, these super uh, mutant uh, little lice, there, and you may be infected, as I say this, it's not dangerous. It's just annoying to treat. You can stop them from spreading by hunting them down. You can find the Lice Hunter's Checklist, which is meticulous about how to fix this on DrOz.com. Up next, cupping. Ever since Michael Phelps flashed his purple spots as he won those gold medals, everyone's been trying it. But is it for you? We'll find out. The moment of death. What actually happens? Meet a woman who says she's lived it. The one thing I didn't fear was fear. And an expert's revelation about death, all nuance. That's coming up tomorrow.